Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Gina. Everything that you could possibly need is in the description box below. Um, recommended readers, uh, decks used. Um, I do do monthly giveaways on this channel, so the directions for that are down below. If there's an extended to this reading, you will find it in the description box below and in the comment section below, okay? Um, so check it out. <laughs> okay, definitely check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up here, and then we'll pull some Oracle and then get into the reading, okay? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. What messages do we have here today for my beautiful Cancers, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, goodness, the Three of Swords came out. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and see here what we have for the col the, the collective, listen to me, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, Spirit. Okay, so we have a leg up, a leg up, okay, a man holding a heart, nothing will come of the situation. Remain positive and a creative endeavor. Okay, this is interesting, Cancer. Cancer, I feel like there is specifically a man I have to be honest you know so it could just be someone in their divine masculine energy we all have masculine and feminine but I feel like there's someone here that wants to show love wants to show emotion they have love in their heart but this person needs help okay this is someone that maybe has never been in love before this is possibly someone who doesn't understand love doesn't understand equal give and take um so you know cancer there may be a sense of hopelessness hope hopelessness here um a, a level of nothing is going to come from this because this person is not relationship material okay and i feel like perhaps maybe you have moved on and you're you know you have a positive attitude of, of finding someone new here um but i don't know what's going to happen with this per oh goodness my cards just all like flipped out okay i don't know what happened there but anyway so what i was saying was um, I feel like, you know, this could be an energy of cancer remain positive. This person is coming back for a new beginning. I, I feel more so, I don't feel like a super negative energy from this person. I just feel like they don't know how to love. Does that make sense? Like, you know, maybe this person's never been in a serious commitment before. Um, tell me about cancer, please. We have the journal. Under the deck, we have the clouds. I want to take it. I'm going to take it. Let's see. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Family room. And despair. And change. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Tell me about cancer, please. This wanted to pop out. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. Tell me about cancer, please. Do I want to take one more? I feel like I want to take one more from here. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic interest. Tell me about cancer here. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we've got coffin here. Endings bring new beginnings. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. 
missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Karmic Partner and Reunion popped out. Karmic Partner. I have to put the cards like this so you guys can see them because there's a glare. So I'm like, <laughs> sorry. Okay. So Karmic Partner and Reunion. Let's read this. This person is a karmic partner. There is a very strong pull and intensity that draws you in. They are a catalyst for your spiritual growth. Be aware of the triggers and patterns coming up for you to clear. This is a stepping stool to prepare you for true, authentic love. Then we have reunion. This is someone from your past returning and a union forming. This could be a connection to someone from your childhood. This is a soul level or physical reunion. This may pertain to a reunion with family. Interesting. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and pull one room card for you today for some advice. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. Oh, we got Wunyo. Okay. When you put, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. So, cancer. So we've got the journal and clouds. Okay. So I feel like we're about to find out something here about some obstacle that someone here is going through, or if there were misconceptions or misunderstandings or obstacles here, you may be getting some form of communication and finding out someone's secrets. Okay. Um, you know, someone here may be opening up. To, to things that they maybe weren't expressing before or someone here may be telling you the hardship that they had in the connection with change despair and family room I feel like someone here okay I feel like cancer perhaps this person maybe had a childhood that is very different than you Okay, and their family sees things very different than the way you were raised. Okay, so this may be a huge change for the person in question. Okay, problem here is cancer is that you're moving on to something new. Okay, you're, you're moving on to something new. You maybe met someone new that you're pretty excited about. Maybe somebody that gives you gives you more of what you need so you're in the process of working um, on something new at the moment something here has caught your attention with hammer and coffin here i feel like you know the person in question has sabotaged the connection and you have officially put an end to it and started something new elsewhere okay um i feel like cancer this person missed their opportunity with you you had to let this go and clear your energy because because maybe you felt like you were being tortured with this person. Um, I have to specify here, Cancer, that I feel like the person in question just needed to learn. Le oh, oh, I got these. <laughs> Ooh, the truth and God bless me. Okay. This person didn't intentionally mean to hurt you, Cancer. They are a karmic. So you had to learn lessons here. They had to learn lessons here. I feel like perhaps the way this person was raised doesn't resonate with the common, maybe traditional aspect of a relationship, okay? So they're learning their lessons on how to love. I do feel like this person had love for you, Cancer. They just didn't know how to express it in a healthy way. So now what's happening here, Cancer, or is there coming back wanting to reunite? Problem is, they are a karmic, okay? They are a karmic. With Wunyo here, Wunyo is a beautiful card of happiness and joy and love and just rainbows and sunshine, okay? So Cancer, I feel like you have a lot of joy in your life right now. I feel like you're very excited over this new situation that has come in for you, okay? Um, 
But I feel like this past person is wanting to come around and explain to you that, listen, you know, the reason why I treated you the way I did, you know, is because this is the way I know how to love or I didn't know how to love you correctly. You know, so they're wanting to reunite. Okay. So let's see what we have happening here, Spirit. Tell me about the past position here for cancer, please. Tell me about the past position. Five of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Well, we saw that pop out in the beginning of the reading. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So, Cancer, under the deck, the Page of Cups. Okay, more water energy. This is someone that you're not talking to, Cancer. This is somebody that maybe feels a little abandoned by you. Or this is somebody that, you know, just you ghosted. They ghosted you. I don't know what the case may be. But with the Four of Swords, this person has spent their time away from you in a place of trying to heal and trying to recover, okay? This person knows that they hurt you really badly. They are aware. So because they hurt you, they went into this energy of healing themselves, so that they can come back to you in a in a better way okay with the page of cups and the eight of cups the magician and the three of pentacles cancer i feel like this person if they sabotage the connection with you or if they were emotionally unavailable they're coming in to apologize with the magician and the three of pentacles i feel like during this time of separation this is somebody that has learned how to okay the magician in a relationship cancer talks about having what it takes to truly have a solid foundation with somebody as you can see this this magician has all four suits there okay love wand money you know what i'm saying sword so cancer i feel like this person took the time out to heal themselves and to realize what they weren't bringing into a connection okay i feel like this person has never lost sight of you the devil and the empress they never lost sight of you this person is borderline obsessed with you very passionate about you cancer so i feel like they 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 disconnected from you and maybe they've been gone for a little while but they did this to try to learn their lessons and come back to you as a better person okay as a better person um problem is maybe they took too long or maybe you just gave up on this and said this is not worth my time tell me about the present moment here for cancer the ace of swords the judgment card sagittarian energy the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress Energy. Cancer, I feel like this person is coming in wanting a second chance. They want to tell you the truth about why they made the decisions that they made. And with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, Cancer, this person really wants to fight, okay? The Five of Swords you know, can talk about sabotaging a connection in a sense of, you know, wanting to one up somebody saying vicious things. But the problem is, is that with the five of swords, when you walk away, you're constantly looking back. And I feel cancer that this person, when they look back, they see you for the empress or emperor that you were. And they're coming back around thinking that you're still single, okay, that you're still single there and waiting for them. So they're going to open up and be honest with you about you know, what they've been through, what they've learned about themselves. The Six of Wands, the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So Cancer, this person is coming back in with a very proud attitude. Ace of Wands under the deck. Okay, can you see that? There's a glare. I got to figure out what this glare is coming from. But anyways, they're coming back pretty proud of themselves. They're coming back pretty proud of themselves because they've put a lot of <clears throat> work into trying under, to understand how to have a healthy relationship with you. Um, but with the High Priestess and the Judgment card, they made this decision on the down low. They didn't talk to you or tell you what they were doing back then. They just dipped off the face of the earth and in secret went ahead and learned and, and gained wisdom. Okay. And that's the decision that they made to di just disappear and go learn their lesson and come back to you. 
with the five of swords and the seven of pentacles this person tried to learn their mistakes from the past they tried to you know acknowledge what they've done wrong and now with the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles they're like okay i've healed myself i'm back cancer is going to be so proud of me because i've learned my lessons i've figured out what i've done wrong and you know they're about to you know when they come back with the seven of cups and the nine of swords they're about to get the shock of their life because they're about to find out maybe that you are in a new relationship okay we have um the two of cups in the world card here and the wheel of fortune and the ace of cups okay this is a karmic cycle that has shut out okay and maybe this person's karma cancer is that you are now in a new relationship with the hermit and the five of cups this person withdrew to do some soul searching to learn about themselves but with the five of cups the problem here is cancer is they're going to regret not opening up to you okay they're not they're going to regret like back then if they would have told you listen cancer I come from a family like this, or this is what I know, or this is what I was taught, and I want to learn, I want to get better at having relationships, I want to, you know, figure out what you need from me. I feel, Cancer, that you would have had enough love and patience to explain to this person how to love someone, or you know what I'm saying? If someone would have told you that they need help, you would have helped them. Instead, they chose to just disconnect from you, go figure out what to do, and then come back to you and I feel like you just took that as okay well you know nothing's going to come of the situation just like we saw with the moon moonology oracle <clears throat> okay nothing's going to come of this so I'm going to go I'm going to move on right so let's see here we've got the four of cups the emperor Aries Taurus energy the three of wands and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. So Cancer, coming into the near future, Cancer, this person is going to feel very rejected. They're going to feel like they came in offering the Empress, Emperor quality relationship um and their plan failed with the three of wands and the king of swords this person had a plan they had a vision for how they were going to come back to you they had a vision on you know listen i'm here i've leveled up to emperor for you i'm back let's do this but they didn't explain to you that that's what they were trying to do or they didn't talk to you they didn't open up to you four of cups and the knight of wands leo sag aries energy the knight of swords so cancer they're gonna come rushing back like like a coming in like a wrecking ball okay all excited and passionate to come in and tell you what they've been doing what they've learned i'm what you need now and out of nowhere it's like no, sorry, I can't talk to you right now. Bye. So they're going to feel kind of crappy about themselves, okay? Because they're going to feel like now you don't, what, you don't want what they have to offer. Three of Wands and Temperance. They were expecting to be forgiven. They were expecting, you know, with the Chariot and the King of Swords, they were expecting that because, you know, they're making the right decisions or because they're doing the right thing or, you know, they've learned their lessons here, you know, they thought that this plan would work. You see, we've got the Hierophant, the Death card, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. We have someone here that was coming in with a plan and their plan was to change and to come back towards you in a hierophant manner in a more committed loving stable manner with the seven of swords and the six of cups in the past this person was very unstable they were you know cheating lying sneaky deceptive non-committal okay and now with the knight of pentacles here and the six of swords they're like here you know i'm back that is behind me i'm not like that anymore i'm coming in to offer something stable nine of cups ten of cups I can give you that emotional fulfillment that you want and need. I can give you the love that you want and need because I've taken the time to work on myself. And again, Cancer, this person didn't tell you what they were up to. And I feel like you've moved on. So now what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You're just kind of, I feel like many of you are going to be like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you saying? You know, so... <clears throat> 
I, I feel like you're going to have quite the, the situation on your hands here, Cancer. So let's go ahead and take this into the extended. Let's see, you know, what the outcome is going to be with this person coming towards you. Um, and let's see what's going to happen with that this new love that you have encountered. Okay. Link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye loves.